When I hear the name Birkenstock, my mind immediately goes to hippies and people who have a cult-like devotion to wearing these wide, cork-soled sandals and they claim cloud-like comfort in the nirvana they bring. So when I decided to try their Boston clog slides, I wanted to know if I'd be drinking the Kool-Aid or taking a hard pass. Welcome to Stray Reviews. I'm Lee and I review products from lifestyle brands to help you make informed decisions when you're spending your hard earned dollars. And today I'm reviewing the Birkenstock Bostons. Now the Birkenstock Boston that I have here is a taupe suede and it has a soft footbed as they call it for a shorter break in period. That means that there's a thin layer of suede and a little bit of latex foam cushioning and then that cork midsole that Birkenstocks are famous for. And this has a lightweight EVA sole and an adjustable strap with a metal buckle on it so that you can adjust the fit. These clogs are made in Germany and they sell for $158. I've been wearing mine for a few weeks now. Have they made a believer out of me? <laughs> We're going to explore that as we look at the good, the bad, and the bottom line of the Birkenstock Bostons. Okay, let's start off with the good of the Birkenstock Boston. Off the bat, these clogs really impress me with how soft yet thick and sturdy this weight is. Let's see if you can get a look at it. Now, it's not very often that I actually go without socks. <laughs> but the material that the Bostons are made from actually feels great against my feet and the adjustable strap helped me to get the best fit. Also, the Bostons are just super convenient. I love having a slide for walking out to the mailbox or running a quick errand or just wearing around the house. In fact, since I work from home, these are fast becoming my most worn shoes. The Birkenstock Bostons are comfortable. The longer I wear them, the more they conform to my feet. And since they're pretty light, they kind of have a slipper-like quality to them. And they're fast replacing my favorite slippers as my go-to house shoe. Lastly, I really like this taupe color. It's super versatile. It goes well with jeans or any outfit really with kind of a casual Saturday vibe. From jeans to trainers, they are decently socially acceptable. <laughs> what about the bad of the Birkenstock Boston clogs? I think the most obvious, at least to me, is this kind of clownish appearance. Now, I know that that might offend some die-hard Birkenstock fans out there, but this ultra-wide toe box, in my opinion, is just kind of goofy looking. I know it's like that for a reason, and it's part of the Birkenstock kind of comfort forward approach but you wouldn't catch me wearing one of these on a date or to a meeting the other thing in the bad column here is that you really do have to earn that birkenstock comfort these clogs were actually pretty uncomfortable on my arches for a few weeks maybe it's because i have flat feet but they were uncomfortable the good news though is that like I mentioned before, they do conform to your feet and it makes them much more pleasant to wear the longer that I have them. How about you? I'm curious. If you own a pair of Birkenstock Bostons or any of their sandals, did they hurt your feet at first? And if they did, how long did it take before they were more comfortable for you? Would you mind leaving a comment below and let me know? The bottom line is that the Birkenstock Boston is a comfortable, convenient clock that starts off kind of rough, but it really does get better with age. Now, I might not be joining the cult of Birkenstock, but I am keeping these clothes for pretty much daily wear around the house or to the store down the street. If you want to take a closer look at the Bostons, then check out the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you, I want to invite you to tap that like button so that it can help other people too. We'll catch you next time.